I'm at is one of Georgia Tech's interdisciplinary research institutes, and what we do is bring together faculty from across the disciplines to solve materials challenges for future innovation. There are 150 faculty at Georgia Tech across all of our colleges, including engineering, science, public policy, whose research intersects with materials. IMAT brings these researchers together to solve challenges of future significance. I'm actually unique in a couple of different ways. Uh, one, it links uh, researchers in the schools with facilities that sort of lie outside the schools or, or over the schools, so that you have a combination of world-class facilities and access to, to world-class uh, researchers. The second way is that it's both inward facing, so most of our work comes from Georgia Tech, but also outward looking in that we work with multiple companies, large and small, across Georgia and the United States. I think the biggest strength of IMAT is that it brings together the materials community in Georgia Tech, all the faculty that work on some aspects of materials across two colleges, and this community creates a very strong network, not only for the faculty, but I think for the researchers, including graduate students, undergrads, research engineers and scientists. I've been able to work with professors and students in a lot of different fields. I'm a material science student, but I've worked with people in chemical engineering, mechanical engineering, electrical engineering, all over the place. The Materials Characterization Facility in IMAT, or, or MCF for short, is a collection of high-end equipment, uh, such as electron microscopes, spectrometers, uh, atomic force microscopes, uh, and other tools to analyze materials all the way down to the atomic level. The lab's available 24-7, Generally, we have somewhere between six and 700 unique users a year, and those come from academia, from industry, and even some, some government labs. One of the main factors in me choosing Georgia Tech was having access to all of this advanced equipment that we can use to perform our research. So access to the MCF is probably the coolest part of IMAP for a graduate student in material science. The future of MCF and IMAT, I think, is serving Georgia Tech it's always a given, but as Georgia adds more and more high-tech companies uh, and becomes more of an innovation hub, we need to grow with that uh, and be a part of that growth uh, in the state. And so in order to prepare ourselves for creating the next, we really look to bring faculty together, and I think that's a unique aspect of what Georgia Tech and the Institute for Materials is doing. At Georgia Tech, our mission is to improve the human condition making the needed a reality and the impossible possible.